Oh, sorry. Let's turn this music down. Ah. Hello there, sorry, I was uh, just relaxing and listening to a nice bit of music. It was lovely. Um, yeah, welcome to my YouTube channel again. Uh, I've got a new video for you this time. <coughs> it's um, basically a, an update from the video that I did, the last one on my hi-fi system. Um, I've made some uh, improvements to it since, uh, since we last spoke, so to speak. And um, I thought I'd put you up to date with what I've done and what I've purchased. Um, so without any further ado, I'm going to turn the camera around and I'll show you what it's all about. <coughs> yeah, so since the last video uh, that I did, um, I had a number of comments uh, after that video which were quite interesting. Some people, uh, I think one person suggested I sh did I have a dedicated mains supply to the system, which I didn't. And uh, another person suggested that the, the high cap, which was then pairing the, I can't remember if it was the preamp or the phono stage, I'm not sure, but anyway, it doesn't matter. Yeah, the high cap could be uh, upgraded to a super cap and that would make a big difference. So um, after a while and after looking at my finances, which weren't very good at the time, I thought, well, I only live on this planet once, why not give it a go? So. So we were having some decorating done in this room as well at the time. So I thought well, it's an ideal opportunity, maybe, to uh, put a dedicated um, power cable into the room for the hi-fi. So I cut long story short, I did that. <coughs> Basically what the engineer did was um, he took a, a big, it's a big thick cable that he used, took a cable from the um, fuse block in, the, in our garage, it was at the front of the house, brought it all the way along the side of the house outside and then brought it into the dining room where we are now, or the music room that I call it, into the dining room and um, put it through the wall and then we put a socket just down in the back behind the speaker there. So that's a dedicated socket, no other appliances go into that, only this hi-fi and it comes straight from the fuse box and so there's a fuse switch as well that can be used to uh, isolate it if you need to. Um, yeah, so that's that's one thing that I did. Don't ask me if it's made a difference because I don't know. I'd imagine it has. <laughs> um, yeah, so the other thing I've done is I did take advice about the high cap. So now um, I have a two super caps, one powering the preamp and one powering the phone stage. Uh, uh, we have the NAP 250. Um, power amplifier on the third level down here. Then we have the uh, Lin Radical which does the echo deck uh, preamp at the top and phone stage on the very top there. So all in all a pretty big improvement. I mean I'm enjoying it so it must sound better <laughs> that's all I can say. Um, I did it all at the same time actually I bought the super cap and I had the electric cable put in at the same time so I can't tell you which is the biggest improvement of the two, I've no idea. Um, I know that it's made a big difference generally. A lot more dynamics, a lot more uh, detail in the music, um, far less noise, very little, well, no discernible noise to be quite honest with you. Um, and um, just a more engaging sound, I suppose. It's something that when I put it on, if I'm washing up next door in the kitchen, I kind of keep coming back to listen to certain bits because they sound so good. So that's the way, um, the way I see it. So uh, before I go, I wanted to show you a, a record that I bought three or four months ago now. Uh, it's a, it's a repro reproduction, if you like, of a famous, quite a famous record by Joe Jackson called Body and Soul. And it's been produced by the Universal Record Group and their marketing department have come up with this Intervention Records. Uh, I thought it was a bit of a con at first, I thought it was 
it's just another way of Universal Records getting more money out of us. But actually, it's really, really good. I'm going to go and fetch it out of my record cabinet in a minute and put it on for you so you can have a listen, see what you think. But um, yeah, I think it's very good. I've lost faith in a lot of these special uh, recordings, to be quite honest with you, especially after the Mobile Fidelity, um, uh, you know, business that they admitted that they were using digital files to make analog records. I mean, well, but it doesn't surprise me. Uh, and to be honest with you, I don't think the Mobile Fidelity records in general, in general, are worth paying the money for anyway. I think if you buy an, an original pressing of most records, it's going to sound as good as any Mobile Fidelity, probably better. But there is an exception to this rule, which I've just mentioned, and that's the Intervention Records uh, uh, pr production of B Body and Soul by Joe Jackson. It really is exceptional. The, the original record which I've got is great, it's fantastic, but the Intervention Records production it's just that much more better. It's got more bass, it's got more dynamics, it's got better detail. Uh, it's very, very quiet background. It's, it's, it's amazing. So I recommend you consider buying it or checking it out anyway. Um, so I'm going to go and find it now in my record cabinet. So if you want to come with me, we'll go and see if we can find it. <coughs> right, yeah, yeah, I'm playing cat and mouse with the sun today. Sometimes it just blasts through the window and just completely obliterates the, this side of the room. Um, yeah, so I've got about four or five hundred records, as you can see here. <coughs> um, and I don't keep records that I don't play, really. There's a few, quite a few in here that I don't play, but I would not keep a record that I don't like. I've tried a few times. If I don't like it, it goes on Discogs. Simple as that. I haven't got the space. I haven't got the space because uh, I have to keep the broom in here, would you believe? And bloody mop. Why? I do not know. And a bucket. I have no idea. It's a mystery to me. Can anybody... Oh! Bloody thing. Can anybody explain why I have to have an ironing board here as well? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, yeah, so the record I was going to start tell you about is second shelf down, just where the light is shining. It's telling me where to go. And it's here. Here we go. This is so that is the original Body and Soul. This is brilliant. It's a beautiful album. It's well recorded. It's a digital recording. This is the Intervention Records version, which I highly recommend. And I'll tell you why I think this is good, why this is turned out to be good. It's connected in a way with the you know, mobile fidelity sort of palaver, is that the original record was one of the very first digital recordings. It was recorded in a church in New York and it was recorded on a digital 3M32 track recording system. And I think that obviously to make this was quite straightforward probably because you just take the files, treat them, tweak them a little bit, you know, re-engineer it a little bit, make it sound a bit being up to certain levels and bases and other things. And it's a lot easier to do. So that's why I think this has turned out well. I recommend this to anybody. Um, I don't recommend most of these expensive albums. I think they're, a lot of them are a waste of money. I think the Mobile Fidelity One Step records, in my view, are a complete waste of money. See, the sun's come out again now, look. Uh, but anyway, that's only my view, and you don't have to take any notice of me at all, do you? So I'm going to go back to my record player now, because I'm going to get out away from this sun. So just hold there, stay there, don't move. Yeah, so, uh, so that's my view anyway. Uh, so here we are with the record player. I'm going to just remove the speaker covers, because obviously we don't want to spoil the sound. These, by the way, are absolutely amazing. They're beautiful covers, handmade, especially for my speakers, which are the Kudos 808s, and they are incredible. So, 
The record that I wanted to uh, show you was the Body and Soul by Joe Jackson record, which um, I'm going to put on now. If you just bear with me a moment. The only problem with this record, in my view, is that it's uh, 45 RPM, which I'm not overly keen on, two tracks per side. So you sit down, you listen to two tracks, you go get back up, change it back over. Oh. It's, uh, I'm not a big fan of, of, um, of 45s and myself personally, but I don't know what you guys think. Let me know in the, com in the comments below. Um, anyway, so this is Joe Jackson, Body and Soul. I'm just going to take the dust off, his, off it, if there is any. By the way, I just use uh, the standard super ecstatic little brush, which is uh, quite straightforward. Uh, it seems to do the job pretty well. Um, so that's it. We'll see. So I'm going to put the music on now and then I'll be going. So I hope you've enjoyed this little short video. It's... Um, I wanted to upgrade, update you as to what I've done and that I've taken notice of what some of you have said. Um, and uh, I want to enjoy my music and I hope you're enjoying yours. So keep listening. And can I please ask you to subscribe if you can down below and also like and anything else that you can do on YouTube. I've, <laughs> I've got about 450 uh, subscribers at the moment. It would be nice to get up to, you know, 100,000 if I could. I'm sure don't think I'll be up there anyway. Anyway, have a happy new year, everybody. Enjoy your music. I'll have another video coming up not too far away, probably, uh, about some records that I've bought and uh, things that I recommend. Okay, so Joe Jackson. Bye.